You owe us, Isabella. Well, Lucky, I'll tell you what. Since the information you gave me was worth nothing, that's what I'll pay you. Me and my boys will get our money's worth, bitch. Oh, you poor sweet thing. Tell me, Lucky, is this worth dying for? I didn't think so. My, and here I thought the only men in this place were besotted fools who couldn't hoist the mainsail. When you talk about hoisting the mainsail, what do you really mean? What else could it mean? It requires strength, knowledge of rigging, and a small measure of sobriety. I know my way around rigging just fine, and I'm good with my hands. Oh my. I'm Isabella. Previously Captain Isabella. Sadly, without my ship, the title rings a bit hollow. You're Ferelden, aren't you? You have that look about you. I was in Denerim not too long ago. You know, you might be just what I'm looking for to solve a little problem I have. Can't anyone fix their own lives around here? Must be something in the water. Someone from my past has been pestering me. I've arranged for a duel. If I win, he leaves me alone. But I don't trust him to play fair. I need someone to watch my back. Who's this person you've arranged to meet? His name is Hader. We worked together back in Antiva. He's never liked me. He's been asking about me all around Kirkwall. Thought I'd get it over with and meet him face to face. You wanted information from Lucky? What was it? I asked Lucky and his boys to track down something I lost. They failed to do it. It's nothing to worry about, and this is much more important. Why a duel? <laughs> I like duels. It's what I do. And if I win, he'll be dead. Problem solved. What makes you think I'm right for this? You saw me talking to Lucky, didn't you? Those boys couldn't manage simple information gathering. I can't trust the riffraff in this place to do anything right. But you, you're different. I think I could manage watching your back. <laughs> I'll bet. I've arranged to meet Hader in Hightown after dark. I'll meet you there. There you are. I've been here for hours. Hader hasn't shown up. No one has. I don't like this. I don't like this? <laughs> That's right up there with... What could possibly go wrong? That's the witch win. Isabella, should have known you'd find me here. Tell your men to burn the letters next time. Castillon was heartbroken when he heard about the shipwreck. You should have let him know you survived. It must have slipped my mind. <laughs> Where's the relic? I lost it. Castillon's just going to have to do without. Lost it? Just like you lost a ship full of valuable cargo? They weren't cargo, Hader. They were people. Those slaves were worth a hundred sovereigns a head. And you let them scurry off into the wilds. And now the relic's gone too. Castillon won't be happy to hear that. I promise you. Will someone explain what's going on? Isabella's been a very bad girl. Ruined a perfect business deal and then ran away. She didn't tell you? I told him enough. Somehow I doubt it. I said I arranged for a duel, which I did. I also said you wouldn't play fair, which you didn't. We can talk later if you want. Right now, we have other problems. Castillon isn't a very happy person, is he? Maybe he needs a new hobby. 
There's only one way to settle this. Stab first, ask questions later. Trust me, it's better this way. Castillon won't hear about me from Hader, but he'll find me eventually. I just have to get him the relic. Simple as that. What's so interesting about the relic? I don't really know what it is, except that it's ancient and worth my weight in gold. Castillon has me chasing it down as payback for freeing his slaves. <sighs> to be honest, I think he just wants me dead. But that would be letting me off easy. You hired Lucky to track down information on the relic. That's right. He insisted he knew everything that was going on in Kirkwall. He lied. <laughs> I bet he doesn't even know everything going on in his pants. Did you end up in Kirkwall because your ship was destroyed? There was a storm. The ship ran aground on the reefs near the city. I managed to make it to shore. Most of my men weren't as lucky. Poor sods. I knew some of those men almost ten years. Oh, balls. Who is Castillon? He's a powerful merchant based in Antiva. I believe he has ties to the Felicissima Armada. I used to work for him. The jobs mostly involved smuggling lyrium, jewels, or the occasional criminal acquaintance. He paid well. What's this about you freeing slaves? I was asked to escort Castillon's cargo ship. I got a bad feeling about the job partway through. Boarded the ship to find slaves. Nearly 200. Elves, humans, children even. It was sickening. They paid Castillon to take them away from the Blight. He took their money and sold them into slavery. Even I know that's wrong. Didn't expect that, did you, Guardsman? If getting the relic gets Castillon off your back, then I'll help you retrieve it. I still don't know where it is, but you'll be the first to know if I hear anything. Anyway, thanks for helping me out with Hader. I think I'll tag along for a while. There might be something I could do for you. And I have a room at the Hanged Man if you're looking for company later. He's ignoring me now. Hey, is my coin not good enough for you? Oh, Hawk, thanks for helping me with that little problem I had. You going to buy me a drink to celebrate our victory? You drink the swill here. It's an acquired taste. Oh, before I forget, are you still looking for work? Because I have a friend who needs some help. Is this a friend or a friend? I never let him steer my ship, if that's what you're asking. From what I hear, he doesn't have good control of his rudder. His name's Martin. He has a room right here in the Hanged Man. Tell him I sent you. Now, you going to leave me to my drinking or what? Hey, who are you? My, you're jumpy. Look at you, cowering in a corner. What happened to the fearless, dashing raider I used to know? I'm not a raider anymore, Isabella. I'm just an honest merchant now. Please, Martin. You wouldn't know honest if I tied you up and spanked you with it. You tie him up, I'll go find some honesty. Very funny, Isabella. You said you could find me help. This is the best you could do, eh? Your friend's such a charmer, Bella. Isn't he? You want the help or not? Yes, I want help. I need someone to help me find out where the raiders have hidden my stolen cargo. This job's as easy as a peg-legged tavern wench. And there's good coin in it to boot. I'll take care of it. You'll need to look around the docks. The crates bear the seal of the Orlesian Port Authority. So you'll know it when you see it. You're assuming I know what an Orlesian Port Authority seal looks like. <laughs> it's fancy. Just like everything, Orlesian. I've had it with the Raiders, and this cargo is the key to me getting on the straight and narrow. You're doing me a huge favor here, friend. Thank you, and be careful.
personal. Let me pass. I have business with the dwarf Javaris and your Arishok. The short mouth, yes. Enter if you must, Basra. You go on ahead. I would rather not. An awkward time to run off, Isabella. Ah, oh, you know I'd never leave you. It's just that I really have to leave. Now. It's like you haven't moved in three years. It's easier for people to find me this way. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find? I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. Isn't that what you said last time? Oh, you mean when I went digging for that stash? Yes, that turned out to contain several badly written poems and an old boot. It could have contained the relic. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. Do I get a kiss from the feisty temptress when I present her with the hard-won prize? If you want. I'll even let you choose where I plant it. <laughs> Why do you always win at cards? <laughs> because I cheat, Kitten. <laughs> this trinket, it's Elven, isn't it? From your clan. Don't bet anything you're not prepared to lose. Here, have it back. A jigger of your finest whiskey for my friend over here. The hanged man's finest isn't much, but it'll get you just as drunk as anything you'll find in Hightown. And you'll wake up and find someone stolen your trousers. <laughs> That's when you know it's a party. I thought I'd have to watch myself around you, but as it turns out, you're all right. That's mildly insulting, you know. You know what I mean. You don't judge people. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. You know, little things like that. If I had someone like you on board my ship when the storm hit, maybe we wouldn't have been shipwrecked. Maybe you would have been shipwrecked sooner. I'm a terrible sailor. Are you? I suppose I'll have to keel haul you till you shape up. I have something for you. Ooh, what's this? Oh, isn't that just the cutest thing? You can't see it, but below deck there's a perfect replica of you with a dozen sailors in attendance. You tease. <laughs> I'm sure there isn't. It is a worthy goal to work towards, however. Thank you, Hawk. This was a thoughtful gesture. Only thing you ever wanted. Ah! You. You turned him against me. Complete accident. I was trying to help. Honest. Take away my pets, and I'll take away yours. How loyal are these friends you drag into the Fade? Would your pirate queen stay if the open water beckoned? What do you say, sweetheart? A two-mast brigantine? Square main topsail? A hundred well-built lads to answer your every whim. I know you've been looking for a stiff masthead. Mm. Should I turn around now to let you stab me in the back? Or would you rather it be a surprise? You are just the sweetest. The silence call to awaits in Kirkwall Harbor. I'll be under the furs in the captain's quarters. I like big boats, I cannot lie. I never have affairs with my crew. Once they see you naked with your ass in the air, they think they don't have to take orders. <laughs> Men. Oh, you have to be twice as tough to earn half as much respect. So did the crew member mutiny? I mean, after you... You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I had the offending member removed. That got rid of the attitude. I... Oh look, it's Hawk. I 
I like big boats, I cannot lie. Really, Isabella? Well, I do. Blighted Demon knew it, too. I'm sorry I abandoned you in the Fade. That was foolish of me. I mean, I didn't even get the ship in the end. I don't blame you. I understand what it's like to be under the influence of a demon. You... what? That's it. No angry rant. Are you trying to get me to jump into bed with you? Because it's working. You mean you weren't ready to jump into bed before? Oh, yes. <laughs> Good point. <sighs> I'm far too predictable. So, this is where you live. Not bad. I preferred the old place. It had, uh, more charm. You're talking about the shack I shared with my mother, uncle and sister? I meant Lowtown. Dirty, chaotic, glorious Lowtown. The smell of tar, and the sea, and the sound of some whore plying her trade in a back alley. Oh. Don't you miss that? You can get your thrills in Hightown if you know where to look. Oh. And where would that be? I can show you what I have in mind. I should go. That was an interesting diversion. Is that all I am to you? Oh, my wounded heart. <laughs> we were using each other, sweet thing. I was curious about you, and now my curiosity is... sated. Wait. You're not thinking of bringing feelings into this, are you? What about love? Love. <laughs> we were ratting. It has nothing to do with love. It's not always up to you. Love can be pretty persistent. I don't care. It can go pester someone else. Did you know I was once married? When I was freed, I swore I would never marry again. I can't imagine you married. <laughs> I was his plaything, a prized possession. He saw me with my mother at the market in Lemeron and decided he had to have me. My mother gave me away for a goat and a handful of gold coins. She didn't even haggle over the price. Bitch. Your marriage was loveless, and you've never experienced true love. <laughs> oh, I've been in love. I fell in love with a man not long after my husband died. He foolishly asked for my hand. I refused to be tied down again. And I fled. It broke his heart. Destroyed him. Love them and leave them, eh? That's right. He should have known better. How were you freed from the marriage? My husband took an assassin's blade to the back of the skull. And before you start jumping to conclusions, no, I didn't hire the assassin. I did thank him profusely, however. Ah, oh, Zevran. He was an artist. You're not afraid of being hurt. You're just afraid of hurting someone else. No, I... Look... It isn't like that. It's just... easier this way. Now, if you're done trying to confuse the issue, I'm going to go. I... I feel I should say something. 
I know you're not good at emotional stuff. At least your mother loved you. Not everyone can say that. I'm going to hold on to my memories of what she was, not the thing Quentin made of her. And just think, you stopped him. Quentin's never going to hurt anyone again. I think no matter what, she'd be proud of you. This is important. Don't interrupt with your selfish prattle. Get off your high horse. I have problems too. <laughs> what drink should I order and who's the father? Oh, you little... Are there any good seats left? Hawk. The Arashok is sheltering two fugitives who have converted to the Kune. He must be convinced to release them. He's already feared because of Patrice. If people start to think he can ignore the law... I need your help so this doesn't get out of hand. I'm going to die! There. Got your attention. Real problem. I heard Arashok and die. What's this about? Remember the relic? The one Castillon is going to kill me over? A man called Wall-Eyed Sam has it. If you help me get it, Castillon won't kill me. Please. I'm trying to keep the entire city from rioting against the Canari. Well... Maybe it's connected. What? I'm just saying, maybe it will help. It's important to someone, right? Now you start being responsible? Shit. This seems like an issue for you and your guards. Quite a few of them. Sending a full patrol would just increase tension. But you're right. I am the captain. It's my responsibility. But... I suspect the Viscount was hoping I would bring this to you. Then he should have come himself. Perhaps. But it's understandable that he's not at his best. I'd like to help him if I can. Why has this come up so suddenly, Isabella? Sam's been talking to black market dealers all over Lowtown. It didn't take me long to get wind of it. What frustrates me is that he's held onto the relic so long. Who was involved in this exchange? Tivinta mages. I doubt they'll look kindly on us interrupting. Bring a sword, or twelve. Tell me about Sam. Sam used to run with Martin. Remember him? Martin says Sam's a bit of a magpie, picking up things that don't belong to him. Not a trustworthy sort. When Martin gave up raiding, Sam became a drifter. You're sure this is the relic you're after? I've had my ear to the ground for a while. There was a description of the book. It's the right one. Book? I thought you didn't know what the relic was. Well, I... I... I know it's a book. But that's all I know. It's written in a foreign tongue. Honestly, what does it matter? It'll save me from Castillon, so I need it. Isn't it odd that someone would run to the Canari? They're elves accused of murder. Maybe they feel they've nothing to lose by fleeing the alienage. And if their conversion is genuine? I don't know. But how many more will try if I allow this? Justice must be respected. You're expecting trouble? After what happened to the Viscount's son, yes. I'm hoping the Canari aren't looking for a fight. I'm hoping they'll be reasonable. But we'll see. The relic issue has to be resolved before we take on the Canari. You trust her this much? Probably not. I wouldn't. They won't wait at the compound forever, Hawk. I really do hope this helps, because if it doesn't... You think I like having this thing on my mind? Come on. The exchange is happening tonight in a low-town foundry. Hawk! You will surrender the relic. I don't have your stupid relic. If the Arashok asks why we killed his men, we'll say it was an accident. Uh, yes. About that. The relic belongs to the Canari, and there's a small chance they want it back. Do the Canari look like the sharing type to you? Of course they want it back. 
I've always known what the relic is. I just didn't want to worry you. The relic is a Canary text handwritten by that philosopher of theirs. Uh, Keslin, Kuzland, whatever his name is. I stole it from them. They followed me here to reclaim it, and it's why they're still in Kirkwall. And they can't leave without it. All of this could have been avoided. How did you steal the relic from the Kunari? The Arashok never had it. The Orlesians did. They had plans to return it to the Kunari. I simply had to waylay the Orlesian convoy before it met up with the Arashok and his men. Getting the relic was easy. Getting away from the Canari was the hard part. I thought you and the Canari were caught in a storm. The storm was only half of it. I also had the Canari dreadnought stuck to my behind like a bad rash, spitting fire and thunder at me. Maybe giving it back would solve Aveline's problem. It couldn't hurt. Says you. I know it will save my skin. Ah, oh, Why can't this be as easy as you? Why would anyone besides the Kunari want this relic? The Tevinta Imperium have been at war with the Kunari for centuries. If the Tevintas get the relic, it will strike a blow to Kunari morale. That's probably what the mages want. Sounds like the Kunari take their reading very seriously. Is there anything the Canari don't take seriously? I'm sure there's something. Maybe knock-knock jokes? Look, the book's right in this building, and I'm not letting it slip away again. There's more at stake, but... Oh, the Arashok waited this long. Oh, I don't know. It's the only thing that'll get Castillon off my back. Please, tell me you'll give the relic to me. It's yours. Your life depends on it. Really? I... I... wasn't expecting that. It's nice to have someone on my side for once. Don't make us regret it. Come on. We've no time to waste. Where is the relic? I... Uh... I have it! The Tome of Coastland will not fall into Defender hands! Blood and spite! A touch, Kanori! He's getting away! Isabella! She's gone! She took it! That bitch-born whore! Well, now we get to deal with the Arashok and the fugitives ourselves. That's good. That's enough. Let's go to the compound. Here is your Viscount. You dare? You are starting a war! Look at you. Like fat doth Rossi, you feed and feed and complain only when your meal is interrupted. You do not look up. You do not see that the grass is bare. All you leave in your wake is misery. You are blind. I will make you see. But we have guests. Sinead on, Hawk. I expected you. But for all your might, you are no different from these bars. You do not see. I see a man who's ready to start a war on principle. And what would the Kunari be without principle? You, I suspect. Prove yourself, Basra, or kneel with your brethren. Few in this city command such respect. 
So tell me, Hawk. You know I am denied Parvalen until the Tome of Kazloon is found. How would you see this conflict resolved without it? I believe I can answer that. I'm sure you'll find it mostly undamaged. The Tome of Kazloon. It took me a while to get back, what with all the fighting everywhere. You know how it is. Heroic acts of sacrifice? What will people say? This is your damned influence, Hawk. I was halfway to Ostwick before I knew I had to turn round. It's pathetic. The relic is reclaimed. I am now free to return to Parvalin with the thief. What? Oh, no, no, no. If anyone kicks her ass, it's me. She stole the Tome of Kazloon. She must return with us. Sounds like you have something very specific in mind. She will submit to the Kuhn and the Ben Hasraf. More than that, I will not say. You have your relic. She stays with us. I'm so glad you came back, Isabella. Don't worry. Everything will be fine now. Then you leave me no choice. I challenge you, Hawk. You and I will battle to the death with her as the prize. No. If you're going to duel anyone, duel me. You are not Basili Dan. You are unworthy. Don't you have what you came for? You know we do not suffer thieves. She cannot walk away from this insult. I will take her. If you object, duty demands that we fight. All right. Let's dance. Marathas! So shall it be! It's over. The city has been saved! Looks like the house special. Whiskey flavored with rat droppings. You don't have to keep checking up on me. I'm fine. I'm just here for the rat flavored whiskey. Right. <sighs> Remember what you said after the mess with the canary. I'm proud of you for doing the right thing. It may have been the right thing, but it was also the dumb thing. The relic was mine. I should have kept running. I couldn't have saved Kirkwall without you. Bullshit. You could have stormed the keep and slaughtered all those canari if you had to. You and Aveline. I mean, look at her. She's a woman-shaped battering ram. The fact is, you and I have nothing in common anymore. You're a champion. And I'm just a lying, thieving snake. Whatever you think you are, I still care about you. It must have been hard to give up the relic, and I appreciate it. Whatever comes, you have my support. Well, perhaps it's time to stop hiding. And I do miss the trouble we used to get into. Tell you what, I'll be here if you need me. Oh, look who's here. Time to change the locks again. I knocked this time. Bodan let me in. Guess what? Castillon's in town, and I'm not waiting around for him to stick a knife in my vitals. 
We're going to get him before he gets me. We're going to surprise Castillon. I love surprises. Unfortunately, Castillon's holed up somewhere in Kirkwall. I haven't been able to find him. I do know where Velasco is, however. That's his right hand. We just have to make him tell us where Castillon is. Somehow. What a plan. Your scheming ability puts me to shame. Well, I haven't worked out all the kinks. Step one, we go to Velasco. Step two, something exciting happens. Step three, profit. Well, do you have a better idea? If we kill him and search his body, we might find something. Or we could find nothing and get nowhere. We could hit him till he talks. You'll just end up killing him. We could hit him till he talks. You'll just end up killing him. Couldn't we just ask Velasco where Castillon is? Nicely. He's not going to reveal anything willingly. I can't risk him getting suspicious and alerting Castillon. Castillon wants you. Why not let Velasco bring you to him? And you follow me? Ooh, that's clever. I was going to suggest challenging Velasco to a riddle game and making Where's Your Boss one of the riddles. This is so much better. I'm ready whenever you are. Velasco's been spending his nights at the brothel, enjoying its many splendors. That's where we'll find him. That's his room over there. Are you ready? Yes, I think so. Now, this needs to be convincing. And you'll need to get creative. Call me names, even hit me. Stick with it, no matter what I do. Velasco's a clever son of a bitch. If you waver, he'll notice. I'm worried about you. You're enjoying this a little too much. I am, aren't I? <laughs> Whatever you do, just make sure he takes me to Castillon. I'll leave a trail for you to follow. Let's go. I'll wait outside the room. Good luck. Ah! What? Get back here, you... Skittish bitch. I hope you have a good reason for interrupting my private time. I brought you a new plaything. She's much less timid. Are you insane? You should see the look on your face. This wasn't the plan. We were going to kill him. Shut up. Oh. I've waited a long time to do that. <laughs> I'd love to finish the job, but Castillon will never forgive me. Castillon will be pleased. He's been looking for Isabella for some time. A token of our appreciation. It's more than she is worth. Why don't we work something out? If you're good, I'll tell Castillon to go easy on you. Contrary to popular belief, I do have standards. You're going to do whatever I want. I own you. You sure about that? You! I knew the bitch was up to something! Kill them! Velasco sent word to Castillo. He's on his way. Let's look around first. I want to know why he's in Kirkwall. Why? And Velasco told me you were all tied up. A lovely present just waiting to be opened. I see he's paid for that little mistake. What a pretty smear he makes. Well played, Isabella. Crossed and double crossed. You want to talk? Maybe we should talk about these documents. Slavery in the free marches? They're not going to like that. Get to the point. Give me your ship and your word to leave me alone, and you can take these papers and go. If you want the ship, can't we just kill him and take him? You don't just kill a man and take his ship. 
That's crude and amateurish. How will he tell everyone how I bested him if he's dead? Can you trust him? He trades people for money. Castillon's a businessman, and this is a business deal. He'll keep his end of the bargain. Ah, Isabella. Always full of surprises. I see I wasn't the only one played today. Give me the document, and you can have the ship. And you will never hear from me again. Swear it. I swear it on my mother's grave. Give me the document. You've made your decision, Isabella. Do as you wish. The ship is yours. Let me say, my dear, that you would make a remarkable ally for any man able to tame you. Our business is hereby concluded. Forever. Be well, Isabella. This is going to come back to bite you. You know that, right? I've got the fastest ship on the ocean. It's got to catch me in order to bite me. If you're looking to sail off, I think the sun sets that way. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Yet. I owe you all this, you know. I've got a feeling something big's about to happen. Knowing you, you'll be right in the middle of it. I wouldn't miss that for the world. Come on. You... you're here. Good. I... wanted to talk to you. So when do I get the grand tour? Haven't you already... Oh, you mean my ship. It's not fit to be seen. Castillon had an obsession with mustard-colored satin. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Saves me the trouble of having to go look for you. I wanted to thank you. For everything you've done for me. I'm glad you walked in here all those years ago. I was drawn in by the intoxicating aroma of stale piss and vomit. <laughs> now that I have my ship, I'll need a new crew. And I'd like to have someone like you on board. Someone I can really trust. Who has my back, no matter what happens. Exploring the world and getting away from all this. I'm game. It'll be you and me chasing that horizon. I can't think of any place I'd rather be. I... I I'm sorry. I don't know what's come over me. What's going through your mind? I think I... I think I'm falling for you. Just tell me, Hawk. If I have a chance with you. Didn't you say love wasn't for you? I know what I said. And I know why I said it. You were right. I wasn't afraid of love. I was afraid of being loved. Promise you won't run off and break my heart? I won't if you don't give me a reason to. Did you call me? Who said that? Captain! Captain Isabella, sir! Over here! That statue is talking to me. <laughs> that statue is talking to me. It's me, Paisley Pete, crew of the Wicked Dancer. Helped you board that Navarran brig. I remember your help. I also remember that your Captain Maldine tried to claim all the booty. Aye, and then Maldine put a curse on us, the scurvy bastard. Only another sea captain can lift it. How could a sea captain turn you to stone? The captain's a Maleficar. He always said he was calling down curses on those who wronged him. But we didn't believe it. He was a lying, cheating, scurvy bastard. Can't blame us for crossing him. I don't know Isabella will be much help. She doesn't even have a pirate crew. 
I have a ship. The crew is next on my list. Pirate captains are more than a ship and the dirty cutthroats will sail with them. A real sea captain is a force of nature. Like the sea herself. Like wind and tides. You hear that, Hawk? I'm a force of nature. I never had any doubts. What triggered the curse? And how does a sea captain figure in? We sort of broke something that wasn't ours so we could divvy it up. And now it needs to be put right. Only a sea captain can do it, though. Anyone else who tries will end up like us. And how did three stone pirates end up this far inland, inside a duke's estate? We borrowed some cargo from Muldeen. Thought Prosper could buy the treasure off us. But the curse caught us. The Duke left us here as a warning to others. All because it's funny. You're the one they need. The decision is yours. They're lying, thieving rat bastards. Pirates. What do you expect? Let's hear them out. We captured a sloop out of Antiva City. The Majestic. Mostly, she was carrying silks to Orlais. But in a strong box, hidden in the silks, was the Dagger of the Four Winds. The Dagger of the Four Winds? It's just a legend. Make us truth, Captain. It's as real as life. Pirate treasure always has such dramatic names. Dagger of the Four Winds, Rum of Scurvy Sam. Really? The drama makes it more fun to steal. Everyone knows that. Captain Maldeen didn't want nobody taking the dagger and jumping ship, so he put a spell on it. He said any blighter who took it from a rightful captain would turn to stone. But who believes in curses? We pried the jewels off the hilt to sell them to the Duke. Then the curse caught up with us. Put the dagger back the way it was, and you can set us free. No promises. Come on, Hawk. Let's look for this mythical dagger. I've put the dagger back together. Now what? Well... Y you have to, uh... Give it away. You have to give it away and not get it back. That's the term of the curse. Let them what steal from rightful captains suffer for their greed. Only by captain's generosity can scabby bastards be freed. I could be generous without giving up the dagger. There's a lot of kinds of generosity, you know. I'm sure you'll give the dagger a better home than Captain What's-His-Name did. Come on, Hawk. I want to admire my pretty new knife in daylight. Wait, Captain! Shut up, Pete! You couldn't beg a copper from a nun. Now you, I wasn't expecting. I thought I smelled antiven leather. <laughs> Isabella! If it isn't my favorite pirate wench. <laughs> Shouldn't you be dead by now? I could say the same, my dear. It seems we were both fortunate to find powerful friends, no? How do you do? My name is Zevran Aranai, adventurer and occasional assassin. I must admit, I was waiting for an assault by the Crows, not the mighty champion of Kirkwall. How do you know I'm the champion? Slayer of Kunari, Deep Roads Explorer, and, may I say, one fine specimen of manhood. You underestimate your fame. How do you two know each other? How does anyone know Isabella? Yes, well, you'll never know Isabella again if you keep that up. I'll assume you're not talking about birds. Oh, please, do not tell me you know nothing of the Antivan Crows. We are the finest guild of assassins, an object of fear throughout the lands for any man with wealthy enemies. <laughs> or I should say they are. I am no longer a crow, a fact they find unacceptable. There must be more to it than you leaving the guild. That is offense enough to the crows, believe me. I may have also killed the last four assassins they sent after me, and uh, other men. Oh, and the guildmaster. In fact, if you were a crow, you might make a fortune bringing me in. <laughs> you should consider a career change. <laughs> no, really. I thought you'd be taller. Ah, let me guess. 
A man named Nuncio has asked you to capture a dangerous killer, yes? What did he say this time? That I killed his wife, butchered his parents, sold his children into slavery? Or did he tell you he was a lawman from Antiva, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? He didn't mention how handsome. Ah, so you've noticed. I credit my high cheekbones and pouty lips. Bring me to Nuncio if you wish, but I warn you, he surely intends to kill you. The crows do not like loose ends. Unlike myself. But you are a man who can clearly handle himself, yes? Hmm? Why worry? So, you can either tie me up, gag me, and then manhandle me. Or you can take me to Nuncio. Which will it be, I wonder? You're very compliant for a fugitive. Compliant, yes, and very bendy. But truthfully, I know when I am outmatched. I would rather take my chances against the crows. I like your list of options, but does it have to be in that order? I knew you couldn't resist my obvious charms. It's, it's the accent, isn't it? You know him best. What do you think? I've had better. I meant about letting him go or not. Oh, right. I'd let him go. None of your tricks. You're coming with me. Ah, as you wish. Let us see what Nuncio has to say. I'll follow you whenever you're ready to leave, champion. Ah, champion, you delivered. Just as I knew you would. It's a pity. The crows could really benefit from having you in their pocket. Alas, orders are orders. No loose ends. I would say I told you so, but that would be so expected, no? Boys, let's give the champion that much-deserved reward, shall we? And we all remain in one piece? Well, it is a good day, then. I hope we learned a lesson, yes? You cannot trust the crow, unless he is ridiculously handsome. My dear Isabella, it has been a delight to see you again. You travel in fine company. That's it? You're leaving? What about sex? <laughs> Still blunt as a dwarven hammer, huh? Well, why not? I don't want you to do this. Fine. But there better be sex to make up for it later. It is time to move on, as they say. I have a little war to wage back home, and so little time. Perhaps we'll meet again, champion. Surprise. Uh, I see. Sometimes people get things for other people they like. This is the part where you say thank you. I know that, you goose. Don't you know what this is? It's a Ravani fertility talisman. These petal-like shapes represent certain fleshy bits. And this protrusion is, well, just look. You're an expert on Ravani talismans, are you? My mother was a Ravani seer. Or, rather, she pretended to be. She knew enough about the old tribal practices to put on a convincing act. She used to hand these things out to women all the time. Ah. Oh, dear. And all this time, I thought it was just a flower. Ravani women would wear these, so that their wombs would be fruitful and their marriages blessed with many children. Or when they wished for... love. Who needs love? I was just hoping for plain old lust. <laughs> lust? Lust I can manage. Shouldn't you be halfway to Tevinter by now? I'm not leaving. If you insist on fighting for some principle or other, I'm going to be right beside you. <sighs> it figures, doesn't it? I finally find someone I want to be with, and suddenly everything is exploding. Tell me I'm not going to lose you. I promise we'll get through this. I'm going to hold you to that, Hawk. Look at all this. Magic is a cancer in the heart of our land. 
just as it was in the time of Andraste. And like her, we are left with no choice but to purify it with fire and blood. Strange way to treat a sick patient. Sometimes a limb must be amputated to save a life. Unpleasant, but necessary. And my surgery here is not yet done. I am beginning to wonder just how large your part in all this actually was. A refugee come to our city with an apostate sister, gathering power and influence without any accounting. How can I trust that the mighty champion of Kirkwall is not a worse threat to this city than the Circle? If you want to see a threat to this city, look in the mirror. <laughs> Just the sort of misdirection I would expect from you. The people of Kirkwall will mourn your loss, but I will tell them you died battling the mages. A righteous cause. Knight Commander, I thought we intended to arrest the Champion. You will do as I command, Cullen. No. I defended you when Thrask started whispering you were mad. This is too far. I will not allow insubordination. We must stay true to our path. You recognize it, do you not? Your lyrium, taken from the deep roads. The dwarf charged a great deal for his prize. It seems a lot more sword-like than I remember. All of you, I want him dead! Enough! This is not what the Order stands for. Knight Commander, step down. I relieve you of your command. My own Knight Captain falls prey to the influence of blood magic. You all have. You're all weak. Allowing the mages to control your minds. To turn you against me. But I don't need any of you. I will protect this city myself. You'll have to go through me. Idiot boy. Just like all the others. Blessed are those who stand before the corrupt and the wicked. And do not falter! I will... not be defeated! slaughter spread quickly. The champion's name became a rallying cry for all mages, <laughs> a reminder of their brutal oppression. He'd shown not only what the Templars were willing to do, but that they could be defied. The circles rose up and set the world on fire. <laughs> Here at home, the city all but got down on its hands and knees and begged the champion to rule. As for the rest of us, Eventually, we all left the Champion's side for one reason or another. Well, all of us except for Isabella.
I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? My sister's a Grey Warden. I had my friend Aveline take her as far from Orlais as possible. When all the Wardens started acting strangely, I had to keep my family safe. Isabella and I never believed in being tied down. When I had to go into hiding, she understood. We'll see each other again. Until then, she'll be having fun. And hopefully not too much fun. <laughs>